Welcome back everybody to the channel. We have some things that I want to go over today because one, I did a work video of like all the projects we we're doing around here and I didn't follow up and show you guys what the prog progress was of those projects. So we're going to do that today. And then also I have a little trick that some of you may already know, but it's something I kind of stum stumbled upon because obviously everybody, you know, when you're hauling water in the winter time, in five gallon buckets uh, like I do, this little, real cheap little $8 item makes it all much that more easier. It's not that easy hauling all that water, but this little thing makes it easier. Stay tuned. We use five gallon buckets right here. This is the yeah, Homie Depot. Where'd you buy that? I buy that from Homie Depot. Five gallon bucket, right? Fill that with water. We take that, we haul that up to the goats. And then the problem with that is you're hauling your water with your goats. You got this thing down here. You're walking. You're either walking like this and it's spilling everywhere. You set it down, it gets on an uneven edge, spills everywhere. You don't want to get wet in the winter time. So here's my little solution to this. They call these painter lids. And what they do is they snap onto a five gallon bucket, like as you can see, and then they screw off right there, just like that. So you can store grain, cat food, dog food, uh, chicken feed, goat feed, uh, water, and you can use this little lid right here to keep all that stuff secure in your five gallon bucket during transport or just plain storage. And they only cost about eight dollars so they go on really simple too so obviously it's just like this just a lid ah, this one's on a little tighter than i like oh come on uh i might have to put it on the bucket to get the lid off so we're gonna put it on the bucket to get the lid off so here's your lid top to it these do have a rubber gasket on it so they are watertight so I'm gonna put this on the ground and get a good snap. All right. Uh, so now I just gotta spin this lid off. Someone's someone playing joke at the Home Depot. Uh, oh, there we go. That one went on a little tighter than expected. So as you can tell. This has got a rubber gasket on it, and it's also removable. And uh, when they start wearing out, they will fall off on their own, so you gotta watch that. We're not gonna need this anymore. And like I said, it just snaps onto your bucket. And you fill your bucket up with water, and you just screw it on. This thing's fighting me. This is a bad example. But yeah, they screw. They screw on and off once you get them that to that point. You need to start hauling your water. So recently we had to fill up our um, goat trough, water trough, because our hose froze. And when the hose froze, there was no way of thawing it out. So I, I moved the trough closer to the fence so I wouldn't have to haul these buckets of water out there. Because what I typically do is I'll haul, I'll leave the hose up there, but I'll drain it every day. And then when I drain it, you know, I can always reuse it in the winter time, middle winter, I can drain it, use it, redrain it, and it won't be frozen. Well, something happened in the process where she got frozen. So now I gotta do this all winter long. Hey, didn't you pee enough in bed already? So now we're just gonna carry this five gallons of water up the hill to the goats. Now typically what I'll do freezing temperatures in this situation is I'd load up the UTV with these uh, five gallon buckets and drive it up here. But the snow is too sloppy and I'm gonna make ruts. I'm just gonna wind up making a big mess. 
So the only choice you have is to lug it up here. But that's okay, because we got some treats for the goats. It's good exercise, to say the least. You guys smell the treats in my pocket? <laughs> oh, we'll go over the upgrades that we did up here. Or just the improvements. Whew, I'm out of breath, man. Oh, loady, loady. Watch this. You guys wanna see something funny? All they have to do is see this. Oh, they know. They know. Woohoo! I got a cookie. Who's gonna get it? Uh, Mama G got it. That's all I got. Can I touch you guys now? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all I got. Sorry. I got more than a whole pocket full. Oh, I got some cookies. Oh, we know we like some cookies, huh? What about you? You don't like being touched. There's nothing that a goat won't do for animal crackers, cookies, crackers. Come on. Oh, woo! Goat burp. I wonder if the camera picked that up because I definitely heard it. Come on now, we gotta share. Come on now, come on, come on. There we go. Mama G, you get one now. Now you, Patches. Uh, Boots, you get the last one. Oh, wait a minute. There's more! <laughs> Uh-oh, all I got left is uh, some crumbs, guys. You guys fight over it. You guys aren't very fluffy today. It's about 40 degrees outside, so yeah, it's a little warm. Let's show you here <laughs> and slick. Let me show you what we did. So gate's gone. Obviously, you see it down below. The fence is gone. Uh, there's a couple posts I wasn't able to get up because we have tree roots growing through them. So I'm probably have to cut them or do something. I'll figure it out, whatever it is. You're probably wondering why I left these posts up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a teeter-totter out of them. Some goat toys. Moving on, if you're wondering. I have to get some grass grown in here because the, the chickens over years have just destroyed this area. And grass is not gonna grow here unless I start planting it and making it grow because it's so muddy and nasty. But yep. Yes, we uh, we have piles upon piles of the scrap from the chicken coop is down there. I'm probably just gonna wind up burning it, guys. I mean, it's all nailed together, it's half rotten. There's a lot of wire and stuff in there, so the best option I have, clear area out, burn it down, clean all the ashes up, and get all the nails and staples and whatever else that's in there with the um, with magnets or whatever I gotta do to, to pick all that up. That's the only way I'm going to get rid of it. But you can tell I am standing where the old chicken run used to be. Now, right here was the header board of that old chicken run. And you can tell she's rotten. Now, I thought maybe I could just cut the rotten section out and replace it. But I'm not really sure because, I mean... All these boards, they clamp down on top of this. There might be a lot of weight here. I'm not sure how to do it. So, you guys, you're going to have to let me know. Um, we also, we purchased some plexiglass. And uh, we're going to put the plexiglass on the outside of these windows here. We're going to leave the tops ventilated so we can get some ventilation in there. But this spring, guys, we're definitely got to put a new roof on this chicken coop. Because this old one is totally rotten off. So, we're thinking... 
metal roof. I do have shingles, but I'm thinking uh, maybe metal might be a good way to go. I only have to do it once and uh, it's forever. Let's go inside this go house and see how spacious and roomy it is. We took out the boxes, the nesting boxes. We took out everything. The only thing we left was the heat lamps because if we have baby goats, I might wanna have a little bit of heat in here. Um, for the most part, it's pretty roomy. We got a nice straw down for them. They, uh, they seem to like it. It's gonna keep them out of the elements. Like I said, we're gonna take these windows here and we're going to plexiglass them halfway up so we can at least have a little ventilation. What I wanna to try to avoid is keeping any driving rain or snow from getting in here and high winds. The back wall against me is the north wall. The windows are on the south, so we should be pretty, pretty safe. Future plan is I wanna build a patio out here so they have something to lay on and sun themselves because right here, that sun comes up from the east. It is nice. They're always sitting out here when it's dry and they absolutely love it. But right now, this place is disgusting. It's a disgusting, muddy mess. So we're gonna fix that. I don't have any more animal crackers, okay? I don't have any more animal crackers. Ooh, it is slick as snot. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I about fell and they, it scared them off. We need to clean this off, don't we? You guys need this back up and running, huh? As soon as possible, come on. But that's our uh, little improvements in the goat area. Keeping it clean is another thing in the winter time I'm having problems with. You can tell, it's just disgusting. I thought about putting down straw, but then that becomes a wet, nasty mess, so I'm not really sure what to do. What do you guys usually do? You follow the same goat trail. <laughs> That's why they call them goat trails. And you guys got your path marked out. You guys are messy. We gotta fix that. Now we are gonna leave this old uh, pin up because future goats, they might wanna use it. They might not get along, might get territorial, I don't know. But we're gonna keep it around because it's not hurting nothing. And besides, if it gets super cold, that shelter that I have, it may be too big for three goats. So they have the option of going in there nice and dry and be in close quarters with each other using that body heat to keep each other warm. Huh, no more. It's like, a, it's like I got to be a blackjack dealer and just be like, show nothing in my hands, show the, show the dealer, or dealer shows that there's nothing in their hands. You gotta show the goats, there's no more cookies in this dealer's hands. Whew. All I have is a, uh, it's a fill tip driver's bit. The weird things that you leave in your pockets that just stick around. So we moved the water trough we did move the water trough. Uh, we moved it closer because obviously I'm carrying the five gallon buckets of water up here. So to make it, you know, that less of a trip because it was about 30 more feet that way. And we don't want to be hauling any more water any further than we have to in the dead of winter. And that heater is actually working pretty well. It's about 800 watt heater. It's designed for uh, troughs of this size. I did have a 1500 watt. It was way too big. It was like jacuzzi water. I swear it was, it was way too hot. I'm exaggerating, but it was way too big and my circuit couldn't handle it. Sorry guys, I'm all out. No more cookies. I, I swear, I feel like they're plotting on me. What you got on my cookies, homie? I feel like that scene where, that movie Friday where Debo says, my bike. You got my 40, homie. Yeah, you got some. You guys are good to go. Stay fluffy, my friends. Stay fluffy. So yeah, these painter lids, they come in two decorative colors, black and white. So they are a lifesaver. I've been using them for a few years now. And like I say, I, I store anywhere from like cat food for the wild cats or whatever, dog food, chicken feed, compost bucket in your kitchen underneath your sink. There's, if there's something that you need to keep sealed up, to keep something out of 
or keep something inside of that bucket, these things, they're a blessing.